What's up guys? Welcome to a new video well, on my channel. We are now 32 days out of my first ever attempt at a pro car. And 3rd of December we are going to compete in a pro qualifier. This is how I am looking right now. Four weeks out. I'm not going to lie, we are <laughs> looking damn different in just six weeks. Here are my legs, definitely coming in. You can see the lines going through the quad. When you see lines horizontally, that's a really good sign. As well, the abs, we are coming in. I am noticing while I'm flexing already sweaty so we have we are holding a ton of water so yeah I'm in a definite better position than I was in my last prep four weeks out so I thought let's pick up the camera and update you a little bit and bring back the vlogs let's go downstairs and grab a coffee so every morning having a delicious cup of coffee to start the day and as well every morning while I'm waiting for the coffee to be done I'm filling up this glass big glass of water halfway and just chug it I've been doing this for I think five years already the best way to start a day is by having a glass or two of water you sleep for six, seven, eight hours. I sleep sometimes only three, four hours, but during that time you're not drinking, so your body is really dehydrated and getting some water in straight away is the best thing ever. I need a different fluid, which is black coffee. Ah, there we go. First sip of the day is the best sip ever. So it's still dark out. It's now almost 7 o'clock in the morning. I normally wake up really early to do my cardio, but it's now almost 7 o'clock in the morning. The gym opens at 7 o'clock, so I'm gonna go to the gym and do my cardio. I think in about half an hour to an hour. So, sitting here drinking my delicious coffee, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the diet. So, you saw my physique upstairs, and guys, this time around, <laughs> it's a totally different story. So, for those who are new on my channel, yeah, I have done a bodybuilding prep uh, about half a year ago in May. I started in January and I have my competition on May. So basically I did Novus, True Novus and Regional. I placed twice in Novus and True Novus and I placed first in the Regional Open class which is the most important class and the highest class that day. And because I am in the top three I could go for a pro qualifier. <laughs> which I'm going to do. <sighs> the lighting here is way better. So yeah, in four weeks I have my pro qualifier. On the 3rd of December I'm doing my pro qualifier and attempt to get my pro card that day. Uh, you saw my body weight, 102.8 kilograms, it's hovering about 102.5, 102.8. Uh, I started this prep 20 weeks ago at 107. I went up to 110 kilograms and we started my prep six weeks, six weeks ago. So on uh, 20th of September, I started my prep. A week earlier of that, I basically went on a holiday in Egypt. <sighs> where me and my lovely fiance enjoyed our time. So basically we are six weeks in the prep and we have four weeks left, a little bit more, 32 days. So yeah guys, I am so freaking stoked, so freaking hyped, so freaking motivated that <laughs> it's, 
it, it has never been this great during a cut. So I've done multiple cuts in my uh, life and this is basically the best uh, best cut ever. I'm feeling good. Uh, it, the progress is there. I'm getting leaner day by day. My weight is hovering around the same when I started. So I'm getting leaner, <laughs> drier, and the weight is almost the same. So it, there is a small issue. So we have four weeks left and I got to drop another about 10 kilograms, 11 kilograms. So my weight cap for my height class for classic physique is 91.6 kilograms. So that means I need to lose around 11 kilograms. My trainer, my coach says it's not a problem because I'm not really watching uh, my salt intake. I'm just drinking a ton of water. So I drink about five to six liters a day and I need to use as much salt as possible. Uh, but keeping the fluid high. I'm not going to talk a lot, this is just going to be a full day of eating and an update on my physique uh, where we are at, at at this stage and I'm going to upload a lot more the coming weeks because now it's getting exciting. This is the best cut ever, as you saw my progress, yeah you can see my abs are popping like crazy, I'm getting drier, harder, as well my legs. And now it's just going to start. I know my body changes the last four weeks of my plan or my diet. So uh, that's why I'm picking up the camera because I know there will be drastic changes in my physique. And <laughs> it's gonna be mind blowing. This is going to be the next level Darko, shredded Darko physique. Last prep I had a lot of stress and this time around I'm just forgetting everything, just uh, focusing on one thing and one thing only and I'm not really letting things coming into my life so I have not felt this great this this amazing during a prep yes I'm hungry but I'm so motivated which keeps me going all in all freaking positive let's go ahead and do the hour of cardio <laughs> Alright, here we go and we just finished the cardio and yeah guys uh, to add to the conversation why this prep is so different uh, as you saw I just went on the treadmill and I did walking so basically I need to walk in between six to seven kilometers within 60 minutes uh, in the past last prep I did treadmill I did bicycle I, I, I like did high intensity cardio now I'm not even tired after doing one hour of cardio and as well a small thing <laughs> I bought good shoes for walking so in my last prep I could not walk everything burned in my last prep so I bought good shoes and as well as you saw uh, I'm watching podcasts so I've, I've, I'm, I'm lucky that the Olympia is in a couple days so everyone is posting updates everyone is talking about the Olympia so it gets me motivated and hyped for my own competition which is in four weeks so this weekend is the Olympia and I'm watching podcasts all over the place just watch Fuad Abia with uh, Samson Dauda and the my, my favorite guy to watch on podcasts are uh, is Milos Sarchev. My god, that guy is so funny, straight to the point, and just the knowledge that he has is insane. So, yeah, the card is going amazing, the progress is there. I'm freaking stoked, freaking hyped. Now, going home, I have your first meal of the day, and I'm freaking hungry. All right, I'm in my room, and <laughs> it's funny to say. But I promised myself or I said to myself that after every single cardio session six weeks out I would go and pose for 30 minutes <laughs> And I will be honest. I've not been keeping my word and damn guys Posing is one of the hardest things to do. So basically I just finished my cardio before I take a shower I'm going to pose a little bit and I've got this app right here. It, it does intervals so I do five second intervals, which means five seconds I'm holding a pose and five seconds rest or 10 seconds rest. So within 10 seconds, I gotta get in another pose and hold it for five seconds. I'm doing this right now for a week. Next week, I want to try and do the 10 second hold and next week or the week after that, do 15, etc. So I'm doing this, it's like two and a half minutes, do two, three rounds and it's so freaking 
exhausting, especially when you are low calories and you're doing cardio. Posing is damn hard. And I'm going to do it in the underwear because I want to watch myself in the mirror. <laughs> and again, I'm freaking sweaty, but yeah, this is after cardio session. And again, I'm watching myself in the mirror. Right here. So watching myself in the mirror, I'm going to pose a little bit, try and hold the poses. Damn, I'm getting leaner by the day. It's insane. All right, so here we go. I've got the app. And I'm going to do this. So that's basically it, Whew. finished. I bumped it up to six seconds hold and six second pause. I'm not sure if you can see it. <laughs> Definitely getting leaner. Whew. I'm gonna do one or maybe two more rounds, take a shower and then my first meal of the day. All right, just took a shower and I'm freaking hungry. It's now, let's see what time is it. Oh yeah, it's basically 9.15 in the morning and I'm preparing my first meal of the day. And basically this will be almost everything I'm going to have today for food. So my breakfast always, every single day, or at least all my meals are the same every single day. But the only things that change are the carb sources. So today I'll have these whole stacks of rice cakes, oatmeal, banana for breakfast the first meal i will have some cheese snack and jacks rice cakes with some chicken deli meat low fat cheese cube combo and some sauces and this is my <laughs> protein intake for the whole day so this is about one kilo of chicken which i'm going to have divided over three meals for the day so this will be my first meal of the day six rice cakes these snack and jacks rice cakes and I've got chicken deli meat about 100 grams so to show you what I basically do is put the low fat cheese, some cucumber, sriracha literally eat it like a sandwich this is my first part of my first meal but normally before I take the first bite I gotta have a first sip of monster energy Like, I'm shaking <laughs> every single morning. I'm so freaking hungry. So I'm having one can of Monster every single morning. So yeah, enough talking. First meal of the day, first part of the first meal. Looking forward to this every single morning. After this, going to have my bowl of oatmeal and I'm gonna lay down and sleep. All right, I am heating up my uh, oats, which I just weigh it out and here we go my diet trick and what I love with oats there's a little bit of cacao powder right here in a small bowl I'll add some sweetener to it and if you are familiar with a protein sludge uh, which means just a scoop of protein and a little bit of water I do the same thing with this this is just cacao powder with a little bit of sweetener and I add just a little bit of water I stir this around, it's really simple, stir it around, so basically right here I've got a delicious, somewhat healthy chocolate spread. This is how I like my oatmeal, thick, really thick. So to this, I'll add two scoops of protein, there you go, just stir this around, yeah, there we go, I am adding a lot. Of cinnamon <laughs> so I'm adding cinnamon to it right here I cut up a banana just put the banana on top right here the last part a little bit of the cacao sludge and to make this complete you gotta add some salt and guys this is my favorite meal of all time literally my all-time favorite meal and yes I'm eating this all 
this morning. So here we go. I've got oats. I've got about 100 to 120 grams of oats, one small banana, and all the cacao sludge. So I always calculate this meal with about 100 grams of carbs. Two scoops of protein, and I had those rice cakes. So basically, with the rice cakes and this meal, it's about 150 grams of carbs. Uh, the protein, yeah, I just calculated already. I'm eating the same things every single day. And as well, like I added a little bit of salt and a big glass of water at the side. And one thing I have to do is use a lot of salt and drink a lot of water. So basically, I'm drinking about six liters of water. I had that 700 milliliters this morning one and a half liters of water during my cardio going to drink this right now and i will have more water during the day because i'm going to the gym drink another one and a half liters and during the day again drink 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 water so i'm drinking a lot of water using salt and i'm eating still delicious food mm. this is for me Heaven. Literally, maybe that's why the diet and the cup is going amazing. I'm just eating good. I'm not stressed out. I'm not that hungry. After this meal, literally, I'm going to lay down and sleep. I'm going to talk too much. This is what I'm going to have. And probably check up with you once I go to the gym or with my la or next meal. So once more, it's 9.45 in the morning. And the next meal will be around 3 to 4 o'clock. Yeah, maybe 2, 3. But... Around that time, I will have my next meal. That will be my second meal. So, check up with you later on. And update you along the way. Alright guys, here we go. This is what I mean. It's now 4 o'clock. <laughs> I'm now having my second meal of the day. So, I've got here 3 chicken breasts. I've got some lettuce, tomato, cube combo. I will have this whole roll of Snack and Jack's cheese flavored. And I'm going to add some spicy garlic dressing. Zero sugar free. So, yeah, this is what I mean. I'm having only four meals a day. And this is my second meal of the day. I'm going to have this whole roll, like I said. This is about 85 grams of carbs. Three chicken breasts, which comes out around 60 to 80 grams of protein. And I've got basically no fat just from the chicken. I'm going to add this dressing on top. Just uh, like this. Oh my god. This is what I'm doing. This whole wall. Which has about 10 to 15 rice cakes. So what I do is grab a couple bites. Rice cake. And that's basically it. Second meal of the day. It's four o'clock. Going to the uh, barber in about an hour. And I'll have my third meal at around six to seven. And then finish off the night with one more meal. And that's going to be it. It's seven o'clock at night. Second to last meal of the day. Another salad bowl with lettuce, cucumber, tomato. A little bit of chicken. I added the spicy garlic zero sauce. And I'm going to add a little bit of this pumpkin seed oil literally just a little bit like that I count that as five milliliters of fat which comes out to five grams of fat this is just going to be it and my last meal is going to be the best meal of the day even better than the oatmeal bowl so I'm going to enjoy this and check up with you later on alrighty let's see eight o'clock at night 8 15 I was just watching some YouTube getting some updates in and oh my god guys so i'm going to have my favorite meal of all time favorite meal of the day even better than oatmeal hey guys i can't wait to get this meal in and as you can see i'm really excited <laughs> yeah i'm pan frying chicken <laughs> guys this is going to be my last meal of the day literally three chicken breasts I got a little bit of this oil on three omega trees and that's basically it yeah no joke favorite meal of the day I'm ending my days every single day with just chicken just protein a little bit of fat from omega trees and this pumpkin seed oil and that's basically going to be it uh, I might as well add a little bit of cheese just to give some flavor to it and that's gonna be it guys 8 o'clock at night that was my full day of eating gonna enjoy this it smells good i must say that go upstairs change 
and end this full day of eating and I might start a new one. All right, here we go in my room. It's nine o'clock at night, took a shower, time to go to bed. And oh my God, eating just chicken is so damn boring. Well, gotta get the protein in. Guys, it's 32 days out today. This coming Friday will be exactly four weeks out of my pro qualifier and my first attempt at a pro card. And this coming Sunday, I've got check-ins with my coach and see what he says. I am freaking happy how I look. Everything is going as planned, uh, going at least better than my last prep so I can't complain but yeah we gotta get the weight down we gotta get the weight down we got four weeks left last time he said don't worry just stick to the plan and everything will be okay so this Sunday is an important day yeah guys that was a full day of eating next week is four weeks out and I'm going to film more try and film twice a week at least the peak week I will try and film every single day like I did in the past in my last prep and show you that peak week is going to be fun going to be epic and <laughs> the end is going to be insane trust me guys i hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button if you're excited and want to follow my journey please be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and i can end this video in one way only guys i hope you have a great day great night whatever is alive do what you want do it now i dare you live life peace